All right, what's up guys? So I'm working on this truck and I just replaced the crankshaft position sensor and we need to do a crankshaft position sensor relearn procedure. <clears throat> Man, that's a mouthful. So we're not going to the dealership. I'm gonna do it myself. I got this tool on Amazon. Let's see if this works. All right, here's the sensor right here. You need to put a little bit of engine oil on the O-ring so it'll seal. This is a 2002 Chevy 5.3 V8. Let's get installed. Disconnect the battery. Here's the old one right here. It's just one bolt. Let's pop it out popped right out wasn't too hard to get to disconnected the battery dropped my starter out of the way here's the old one versus the new one it's an identical replacement pop the new one in tighten the bolt down plug it up and we're done here it is the vx nano it's an obd2 port plug and you just plug it in and hook it up to the laptop usb in the back let's see if we can get this thing to work right i do recommend installing this on a windows laptop or tablet that you don't care much about for security purposes this one came with a USB drive with all the software on it. I ran the auto installer first. Okay, then I run this one. Select pass through and the type of vehicle I'm working on. Now I got it plugged in the USB port. All right, it's all lit up. All right, now I open the VX Diag software and it's working. Let's go hook it up. Plug it in. It's got some lights on the back of it. This thing will also work on many different makes and models. I'm using it on a GM vehicle, but it works on Ford, Toyota, Honda. All the big names, it works on it. You just gotta install the software for it. Turn the key on. I got the software open right here. North America, Bosch MDI, USB, diagnostics, 2002, light truck. The engine is a VIN code T, it's a LM7. Without, the only code coming up is O2 sensor. All right, special functions. Crankshaft position variation learn. 4,000 RPM. And it's done. Man, look at all that information in there. You can see everything. Exactly how the engine's running, everything. And this is gonna be useful. If you work on many different vehicles, this is gonna be the ticket. All right, so that worked great. Once you get the software set up, it worked flawlessly. I installed this on a laptop I didn't care about. My antivirus was having problems. Other than that, once I got it set up, it was working great. Relearned the code in about two seconds instead of going to the dealer. Do with this information what you will. I'm not responsible for any damage caused by this thing. I'm showing you what worked for me, and it did a good job. Links in the description if y'all want to check it out for yourself. Later.